Governor Scott Walker spoke to employers on Thursday afternoon at the WMC Business Day in Madison. Walker's message was focused on his blueprint for prosperity. That plan will cut property taxes by $400 million, income taxes by $100 million, and set aside $100 million in the rainy day fund. I just don't hear people say, hey Scott, the taxes in the state are too low. I don't even hear people say the taxes in the state are just right. What I hear time and time again from people across the state, whether they're individual taxpayers or employers like so many of you here in this room, what I hear time and time again is if you want to keep the economic recovery going, if you want to keep the ball rolling forward, if you want to put more people to work and enhance the economy and create more opportunity in the state, if you want to make people better in Wisconsin, the best way to do that to truly stimulate the economy isn't to keep more money in Madison, it's to put it in the hands of the hardworking taxpayers. The consumers and employers of the state are the ones who help create this budget surplus. They're the ones who've earned it. It's time to give your money back to you, the taxpayers of Wisconsin, and that's exactly what we're doing. Walker urged the business leaders to rally support for his tax cuts. It's about making sure that everyone in this state who wants to work can find a job. We improve everyone and we don't leave anyone behind. You are the ones making that possible. Help us share that message. Not just with others here today, not just with folks around the Capitol, but with your state senator and your state representative. Help us share that message with others in your industry and in your communities and at chambers all across the state at the local level. Help us spread that message, not just to pass our blueprint for prosperity, but more importantly, to pass the positive, enthusiastic message that Wisconsin is open for business. Along with cutting taxes, Walker wants to invest more money in worker training that will give people the skills to fill thousands of open positions in the state. What I've heard as your governor is that many of our employers in this state have positions open today, but they can't find enough skilled workers to fill them. In fact, on any given day over the last couple months, if I were to call Reggie Newsom up, my secretary of the Department of Workforce Development, and ask him, Reggie, tell me what the JobCenterWisconsin.com site is at right now. And that's a site that's literally, purely a voluntary portal by which we allow employers to list job openings. The last month or two, we've found there's, found there's almost 50,000 positions open in this state. Walker's plan would devote $35 million to worker training programs. That is on top of the $100 million invested under the most recent state budget in an attempt to fill the available jobs. For the McIver Institute, I'm Nick Novak.